Welcome to a video from the Lifestyle.com. This is a new video about cork drivers with Windows 10 and Windows 11. I first did one of these videos back in 2019 when an update caused issues with cork drivers dropping off uh, from the system and you couldn't access them through the, the editors, you couldn't access the librarians or through the studio tools. So um, I created an article about how to do it and then I've updated it a couple of times since. The situation is a little bit better now than it was back in 2019, but I still see lots of people having these issues. So I thought I'd do a new video right from scratch to show, explain about the drivers and to show you step by step how to fix it. So first a brief explanation about the drivers and then I'll go through step by step how to fix the issues. So the issue is with the old uh, driver model, Korg drivers have to be within 10 slots on the system for them to communicate with other devices. Now, some devices don't even need a Korg driver. So maybe um, the key stage is a good example. So I've got a key stage. You don't actually need the Korg drivers for it to work. It works out of the box and you don't get any of these issues with it. If you install the drivers, which you do need, if you want to use the audio interface of the Korg stage, then you do get these issues. The mini log works pretty well without drivers, the Korg drivers. Um, but if you install the drivers, then you can get these issues. So step one is make sure you get the, the just try them without the Korg drivers. Uninstall anything Korg driver related. Things might work and, and work as you want then. If these don't work, then the next step is get the very latest Korg drivers because that also can solve the issue. If that doesn't work, then this guy will show you. Some synths don't get affected by this at all. The mod wave, the wave state, they're using USB a new driver, I think, in USB, so that isn't an issue. But certainly the key stage, which is a new device, a radius and a mod wave that, uh, and a mini log that I've got connected have this issue. So I've messed around my machine to get it back into a state where I can show you the issues. So you'll see here that uh, I've got a um, key stage working because I fixed that one. And I've got a radius and a mini log that isn't working correctly. When I go into um, the Cubase, actually the radius is working fine. It's only the editor that's having the issue. The mini log isn't working in the uh, in Cubase, although it shows up. So you get these different effects. The, the reason is about these slots. So let me explain it. We're not talking MIDI channels here. We're talking about slots. And this tool that I've got here from Korg, the Korg Uninstall Utility, actually shows you the slots that, that they're in. Windows has this idea of slots. So you've got driver one, driver two, driver three for MIDI, driver four, and so on. And here you can see my system. And I'm up to 29 devices showing on this list. It's weird how it doesn't show you all the devices, um, but I'm seeing things like a, a USB headset and audio devices and drivers for like X splits, but I'm not seeing it on there, the wave state or the mob wave. But anyway, these are the slots. Now, the one that's working, forget about the corrupted bit for now, is the key stage because that is um, working and because I've fixed it. The one that isn't working, and don't say corrupted, is the mini log, although both the ones are, are, are not working, and the radius. Now that everything is fine, they're connected up, got the right drivers. The reason why is this driver limit zero to nine the, is what the Korg devices have to be in those slots. If it goes into slot 10 or above, then they don't work. So radius is working fine in Cubase, it being in slot 17. So it's not 100% predictable, but the editor's not working. The mini log isn't working in Cubase and isn't working through the editor on here. Um, now, if I go to preferences, you'll see that, it, that they're there. The radius is there, the key stage is there, but um, they just don't work. So let me just, just make sure. So we've got MIDI, okay, and I can uh, receive a program and it just doesn't work. Like I said, the key stage are fixed and you can see that is working fine. <laughs> So, let's come out of that one. Let me show you what how you can get around it if you use an alias. So let's have a go at fixing that now. See if we can move that uh, mob uh, midi log up a few steps. So you're going to need uh, regedit. 
do this with caution. With RegEdit, you can completely mess up the machine. So do this at your own risk. Be very careful and make sure you know what you're doing. If you're not sure what you're doing in the registry, then don't do it. See if you can get someone to help you. But we're only going to be adding a few records and changing a couple of things. So hopefully we shouldn't mess anything else, but we're going to focus on one uh, or two sections. So what you need to do, it's got a H key local machine system, current control set, control, and then class. And then you'll see here all these classes. And somewhere buried in here is the the details for the driver for the US uh, for the MIDI driver. So you can do find the value searching for is called UM64. And I'm gonna do that on the clipboard. Let's find that. Okay, so this is the so there we found that what you've got to do is then just go back up to this section here this number eight so the top section of that branch and you can see the key stage is there and this is the one that's working and what we've got this concept of is aliases so it's kind of like an id number so you, you can give it an id and the id needs to be zero to nine and then it will shuffle up that list if you can see if i go down here you can see i've got an alias of midi one for the USB for the key stage. That's why it says corrupt because I've messed with it. That's what it's trying to say, I think. And but it works, and that's why it's in slot one. So we want to do the same thing for the other driver. So we can repeat the search again. So we get onto another branch, branch thirteen, or you can just expand these one at a time if you want until you find the core one. So branch thirteen. If we go to the to the top there, that's the mini log. So what I need to do now is um, is create an alias, and then um, so we go to a string value, get alias, the value is going to be MIDI two. I want it to be in slot two. We probably already got something in slot two that we're going to have to free up, but I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, so that's that bit done. So now the next bit is on where we need to free up some space for that slot. We go to HK Local Machine Software. Uh, you want to go to Microsoft, right down to WinNT, current version, drivers. And here you can see. And now you can see those MIDI ones. Some of these are the ones I've created while moving things around, getting this video already in previous occasions. You can see MIDI one is associated with the Korg UM driver. That's the key stage that I've already done. Now I select that other one as MIDI two, but there's already a MIDI two. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shuffle that down to make it, uh, let's make that, so we can rename that one. And we'll, I'm gonna put in slot 23. So it's an audio driver. It won't care where, where it is in that sequence. All the core could do. All right, so that's that done. So now I can do a new string value, MIDI two, and then the string value data is the driver. So I'll just paste that in because I had it on the clipboard. Right, that should be okay. Let's just go back. There we can see now we've got MIDI two on there. I'm not sure if we'll need a reboot. Let's check uh we can see if we've got the get the korg drive uninstall driver to check it it's still at slot 13 so it looks like we are going to have to have a reboot so uh, everything looks okay on there so far so i'm just going to check that i've keyed everything incorrectly and then i'll do a reboot so I've opened the, I restarted the mini log, opened it up, and it's actually receiving the data. So that has, that has worked. Now, one thing I think it has done is it's changed the, the it's on MIDI two. Now, before I started the, the recorder off, I was just changing the, see, changing those around. So that has actually fixed it. I guess I could go manually. Let's see if, uh, if I set it to automatic, whether it will work. Yes, it does. So it's detected that there's MIDI two. Um, so if you were on the automatic, it would have worked. I suspect it's only saying two because I've messed things about and there must be a registry setting somewhere 
where it's still remembering one and another channel. Well, as you can see, that's now working. So the final one on there, we've got the radius, which is on 17. And let's check the radius editor. So here's the radius editor and okay, got the monitor as well. Um, and let's check the connection settings. So this is what was on radius one before when it was working. Um, there's nothing else on the list to pick for. So we have no other radius choices and it doesn't think it's connected because we know better it is connected. Final time we'll do this. Uh, we're going to reg edit. Uh, so it's pretty much remembered where we were. So step one. This is the system. Current control set, control class. And you see all these. You're looking for the Korg one. It's hard to find. So just do find. And you want Korg UM. Six four oh, right. So branch eight we know was the key stage. I did F three. First time it's gone there. I pressed F three again and it's taking me to the second one. We know that was the mini log. So if we do F three again and then again and again, there we go. It's found number seventeen. And that's the radius. With no alias in there, so we do a new string value. I'm going to keep it lowercase. I'm going to make that MIDI 3. Let's just look at the registry, check. Let's just check with the core utility what's we, what we're talking about. Looking at our MIDI 3 with the audio device. So, yeah, let's go with 3. So that's okay. So now we go back to software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, drivers. We have a MIDI 3 already. Um, so I'm going to rename that to be MIDI 31. Shove it right down the end of the list. And then do a new string value MIDI 3 and the driver value is Korg UM64 DRV. Okay. I'm pretty sure if we go to the Korg uninstall utility. It's moved it up without a reboot this time, and it says it's connected. Let's get the radius editor up. And now you can see, we can see if we can find the radius. Yes, we can. So we've got MIDI control and the output will be MIDI sound. Okay, that. Let's see if we can receive. Yes, we can. So that's working now. Just to, um, to to find to show that off, I can open a one of the older virtual instruments from Korg, the MS Twenty, say, and we can just check to see if we can control them from those other devices, and which you can, you can see we can. It's certainly nice to have the whole change the names back to one again as well. But yeah, we should be okay now with that with that control. Other things are still working. Cubase was working anyway, um, but uh, those editors are working and they're controlling the soft since now. So hopefully that helps with the, your issues. It's about those slots um, and getting them in the right sequence. So step one, get rid of the Korg drivers. Unless there's any specific fe features you need of the Korg drivers, like the editors for the radius and the mini-log do need the Korg drivers, but if you're using them just for uh, MIDI, to control them, then they don't. The key stage doesn't need it at all unless you're using 
the audio driver. So you might not need any of these code drivers. Uh, and if you do, make sure you get the latest ones. And then you, if you're still in trouble, follow my guides there. So hopefully that clears it up, at least for 2024. Microsoft actually working on a whole new MIDI stack uh, for, uh, including MIDI 2.0 for the uh, for Windows 11. Uh, check back on the YouTube channel, interview with Pete Brown about that, Microsoft's Pete Brown about that. So that may get rid of all these issues as well. We shall see. But thanks for watching this video. If it helped you, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.